Hey guys, we're here for episode 370 and we are doing a double shot of K-Metal, the K-Metal series. We have the 7th and the 8th installments. Now the 7th is from March the 3rd, 1998. So we made it into March yesterday, which is very exciting. There are 35 wads in March, apparently, and we've done five of them so far. That looks like it. So yeah, we've been playing a lot of Kirk Kessler maps lately, uh, K-Base 3. We played that yesterday. Also a Kirk Kessler map. And we have a double shot of K-Metal. And there's also another K-Metal 9 right here. So we have a whole bunch of Kirk Kessler maps. So let's go to the folder. Looks like there are 13 of them. So we're like halfway through. All right, track-wise, we're on... 31. 31? No, 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 we're on 30. Okay. So here's your wads remaining counter. It should say 1782. It should say 1682, not 1782. So we are sub 1700. Uh, I think we were at 1690. We started at 1696, and then what were we up after that? I'm, I don't know. Anyway, we're at 1682 now. Hopefully we can get into the 1670s tonight. The K-Metal series, they're all single levels, so I don't know about the rest of these wads, but we will figure that out. 1682 wads remaining, so we do have a fun fact segment. There are only two notable events, notable. Uh, two, two things that I decided to write down. So let's go to, this is according to Wikipedia. These are some interesting things that happened in the year 1682. So on August 23rd, a comet that would later become known as Comet Halley, otherwise known as Halley's Comet or Halley's Comet, however you want to pronounce it, is observed from several locations on Earth after reaching magnitude 2. I don't know what that means. And becoming visible to the naked eye. Maybe that's what it means. If it becomes visible to the naked eye, maybe that means it's magnitude two. I don't know. Arthur Storer sees it from the North American colony of Maryland, while German astronomer Johannes Hevelius me measures it from Danzig. Not to be confused with the band. <laughs> now, how do you pronounce this? Gdansk? <laughs> Gdansk, my lady. That's what... That's what that's what that uh, that's what that's makes me think of in Poland. So Danzig, uh, there's a band named Danzig. I wonder if it was named after this place in Poland. I honestly have no idea. Horrible band, by the way. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, Danzig. I think the guy also uses Danzig as his last name. I don't know if it's a, his actual last name, but. Glenn, Glenn Danzig. I believe he was one of the vocalists in The Misfits, wasn't he? Am I crazy? Is that where his claim to fame came from? Uh, but I mean, he was also in a band called Danzig. So I don't know what came first. I might be completely misremembering. Anyway, Edmund Halley successfully predicts that it will return in 1758. So apparently they didn't know in 1682 that it was like a recurring it was the same comet that was coming back every 75 every around 75 years apparently is what wikipedia told me so in 1682 they didn't realize that but i my, i think it was this guy edmund halley obviously he confirmed that yes it is the same comet that just keeps coming back in 1705 is when he confirmed that apparently and i looked at the the orbit of Halley around the sun it's ridiculous and it's sort of it almost seems like it intersects the orbits of the other planets around the sun too and so I was curious like is Halley's Comet ever going to collide with a planet apparently no for some reason I guess <laughs> you know I guess the orbits are so big compared to the size of the planets that it was just in order for them to hit it'd have to be like a threading threading a needle or something but what was that what else was i going to say yeah so every 75 years apparently halley's comet returns to to earth where we can see it 
And so apparently the last time it was visible to the naked eye, I guess, was in 1986, I believe is what it said. And so if my math is correct, it should be 1751, right? 2051? <laughs> I was looking at this 1758 when I said that. Uh, 2051 is supposed to be when it when it shows up again, right? Because 86, that's 14. And then 51, that's 51. So 14 plus 51 would be 75, right? Now, 1986, I was either... Uh, how old was I? I was three or four years old. So I was alive, depending on when the date that it showed up. But I was alive at the time when it appeared. You know, I've heard about it too. I... I mean, Halley's Comet, that's pretty... It's probably Is it the most common comet? Probably, right? Obviously, I would have been too young back then to, like, remember people getting excited about it. But, yeah. I, I mean, in, in, 20, in the year 2051, how old will I be? Uh, so, basically, 18 plus 51. However old that is. So, what is 18 plus 50? 18 plus 50 is uh, 68, right? So I'd be 69 years old. Am I even going to be alive when I'm 69 years old? I'm 41 right now. So that's like another almost 20 years. Almost 30 years, I should say. Sounds like a long time, but I don't know. I feel like my body's already breaking down. <laughs> so, I mean, I slept on my new mattress last night. My new, my new new mattress. I bought a mattress like two weeks ago, and I it was I couldn't sleep on it, so I ended up buying another new one, and I slept on it for the first time last night, and I feel like it was better than the one I bought two weeks ago, but I don't know anymore because it's sort of like when I, when I was pushing down on it, it sort of felt the same, it felt similar, but I did sleep in it. I don't know. It just I got problems with my back and my hips. I don't know what's going on. I might have to go to the doctor. Either way, there's your fun fact about August 23rd. Let's go to the next one. October 27th. The city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is founded by William Penn. All right. So, city of Philadelphia. That is the city of brotherly love, right? Is that correct? So, Philadelphia Flyers, they had a like a... They won the Stanley Cup four years in a row, I believe, in the 70s. And I think that team was called... They had a nickname for them. I think they were like the Broad Street Bullies, I believe. That's what... I think that's true. I guess they were... They bullied their, their opponents, and they ended up winning four Stanley Cups in a row. Uh, they also had some really good players, though. I'm trying to think of them, but I don't know. Uh, Bobby Clark, he was on that team, wasn't he? Anyway, um, Philadelphia. Now, I, you know, one of my biggest hobbies is uh, TV, over-the-air TV. That's TV that you pick up with an antenna, an outdoor antenna. And one of my biggest hobbies is trying to pick up long-distance channels from mostly the U.S. because I'm in Canada. There's way more channels in the U.S. than in Canada. And I have picked up Philadelphia before. I picked up several channels from there. It's about 380 or 360-ish. I forget which one. It's, it's either, I think it's 80, 380 miles away from me in a straight line. So that's a decent distance. And so I picked up a bunch of, not a bunch, but I picked up several channels from Philadelphia. I believe I picked one up last year. So I have it up on my screen here, on my phone, the list of channels. Now, there's this one channel, WDPN. It's licensed to Wilmington, Delaware. Now, Wilmington, Delaware is right near Philadelphia. I feel like Wilmington, Philadelphia, and Trenton. I think it's Trenton, New, New Jersey. It's someplace in New Jersey. I swear it's Trenton, though. But they're, like, really close to each other. They're all sort of in the corners of their states right on the borders and they're um, they're all really close together so this one even though it's in Delaware it's licensed to Delaware I, honestly I think it does broadcast from Philadelphia so 
even though it's licensed to Wilmington, Delaware, it actually broadcasts from Philadelphia. But there's this this channel. It's on channel two, WDPN. Now I had a chance to pick this up. I haven't picked this up before. Now it's on channel two, and so one of the cool things about channels two to six is that they travel like really long distances in the summer. Uh, however, it, when that happens, it's hard to pick up that channel at a lower distance. So picking up like one of these low channels in the summer when it's called e-skip. So when there's e-skip going on, it's, you, you know, you can pick up like a, a channel over a thousand miles away. A thousand, like just say, let's, let's just say a thousand miles away. And it's actually really easy to pick it up. Uh, so it's the the signal is bouncing off of the ionosphere and it's coming back down at, over a great distance. And however, I mean, the closer you get to it, this the like the steeper the the reflection has to be, and that is much rarer, much more rare, rarer, much more rare for that to happen. The closer you are. And so 380 whatever miles, that, that's actually a pretty short distance for this e-skip to happen and to pick up a channel through e-skip. Now, my shortest e-skip, I believe, is around three something. I don't know. I can't remember what it is. It is, I think it is sub 400 though, which is pretty good. So you might think the only cool thing is to pick up uh, like really the, the longest distance for e-skip and um you know what's the longest distance because that you might think that's the most important thing but no getting the shortest dis distance through e-skip is actually just as crazy as getting the really long ones and i had a chance to pick up this wdpn channel uh it was either i think it was two years ago uh but i wasn't home i was i think i had i, I was at work and all I had, to, all I would have had to done, all I would have had to do was aim my antenna just like maybe 15 degrees in a different, in a slightly different direction. Because I get home and I check my graphs, so I have like an auto logger logging all the on my um, on my signal strengths, all the channels that I'm picking up throughout the day. It's on 24/7, and so I get home, I check my graphs. And sure enough, um, uh, the signal strength is is really high for like an hour, and it was, just, and I it never got high enough to uh, to actually lock on, and I wasn't aimed right at Philadelphia either, and so you know if you aim at it, it, it it's uh, your antenna picks it up a lot easier, so because there's a guy near me who was also logs his channels and he picked it up. And so like I have, I don't have nightmares about that, but I just, I feel really bad about that because I missed, I feel like I missed my opportunity. I haven't picked that up. I started doing this in 2011 and I haven't picked it up in 13 years or whatever that math is. So hopefully I can pick it up one day, but it makes me sad when I think about it because I feel like if I just would have been, been home and aimed my antenna 15 degrees over, I would have picked it up. So that's, I'm really sad about that. Anyways, channels that I have picked up, WBPH, this is licensed to Bethlehem, uh, Pens uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I'm assuming that's near Philadelphia because it's in the Philadelphia market. Uh, what else? WFMZ. Now I picked that up when it used to be on channel 46. Now it's on channel 9. I have not picked it up on channel 9, but it's definitely a possibility. Maybe this year. WHYY, channel 13. I picked that up. That's from Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, I think th this one definitely transmits from Philadelphia because I picked this up several years ago now. I only picked it up once. And WUVP, I picked that up like in 2012. This was uh, a long ass time ago. And it only came in for one second and then it was gone. And I haven't seen it again since. So that was really exciting though. I can still remember picking it up with my old converter box. Um, 
what else have I picked up? WCAU, that's the one that comes in the most often because it's on an empty frequency. It's on a frequency that I have no interference on. So I have no local channels on this frequency. It's on channel 28. So that comes in usually once a year, maybe twice a year. Maybe it won't come in a year, but it did come in last year. And I think that's it. That's, yeah, those are the only channels I picked up. There's a whole bunch of channels in Philadelphia, but anyway, there's your fun fact segment. That wasn't really a fun fact. The last one, I was just talking about my, my uh, TV channels. Anyway. Okay, so let's start playing. I think I need a drink after that intro. I really like this music, by the way. It was, it acted very well for background music. Okay, 181 monsters and three secrets. So we played uh, K bass underscore three yesterday. It had a lot of monsters. And it was quite long too. I think it took over half an hour to do. This one looks smaller. So here's, uh, there's a secret right there where the blue key is. Right. Uh, there's something right here. So that's a quake texture. This one right here. That's a quake texture. Oh shit. I just, I wasted a box of shells. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and figure out where the super shotgun is. There's fatty, there's a backpack, very good. However, our priority is a super shotgun. So after I kill this fatty, I'm gonna search for it in the editor. Or I'll just go over here, pick up the backpack first. Oh, there you go. I had a feeling. I just had a feeling. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. All right, good. Yeah, so the thing about the Kirk Hessler maps, they're always uh, quite action-packed. They're always fun. So, always a good time playing these Kirk Hessler maps. You have a bur uh, barrier right there. That's not shootable, is it? You never know, right? Who the fuck just shot me? Some asshole way down there. What the fuck? It's getting sniped to hell. Oh, I haven't even picked up the this this gun yet. All right, so let's try and kill these assholes. I don't even know where they are. Like, where would they even be? Where would they come from? So they obviously came out somewhere. Came out of something. Okay, let's go back over here. It's definitely a shotgun or somewhere. Like, seriously, what the fuck? I don't understand. Where did the chain gunner come from? And there was another shotgunner over here, wasn't Was there not? Am I going crazy? So I don't know how to get in there. Okay, let's just try to go over here, I guess. Does not open. Does not open. All right, let's try this. Yes. Oh, 
lot of snipers over here. Okay, so we have a yellow door. <clears throat> so there's something right here, apparently. Okay, that must open up later. Or, like, what if I press this? Nothing? <laughs> you have the big red strip right here. This giant red strip. That is from Gray Tall. The Gray Tall texture. Oh, actually, I that looks like the regular Gray Tall texture, but it has these added like screens on it all right so we can't do anything over there let's try this way oh jesus Think like I don't think I can do anything over there. Uh, all right, let's try something else then. Oh, one of the barriers is open. I thought it was. It's not. Okay, let's try to go over here then. Oh, God. How many goddamn guys are there? Now, this is one of those things where you need a, a uh, uh, rocket launcher. Unless they come to... No. But they're too far away for super shotgun usage. For efficient super shotgun usage. Yeah, they're... This is not ideal. And I don't think I can do anything else. I have to go this way. Oh, God. Okay, what happens if I go over here? I get shot, obviously. Not ideal. Not an ideal fight. So should I save? Like, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that fight. Okay. So where the hell are these secrets? I don't know. Nothing in there? What? <clears throat> okay, so one of the barriers is open now. Uh, okay, and I'll... These guys are out and about. Boot and a boot. Like, why isn't there a med kit in here? What the hell? How many goddamn revenants did I fight in here? Like six?
Okay. Yeah, so I still can't go this way. I don't understand why I can't go this way. I mean, it's it's orange. The lines are orange. By the way, Lauren Graham, who played the mother on Gilmore Girls. I know her daughter was Rory. Lorelai. She played Lorelai on Gilmore Girls. She is in this episode of uh, News Radio. And she's wearing this really tight dress. Good God. Looks very hot. Now, was this pre or post Gilmore Girls? It must have been pre. Right? You know, um, <laughs> one of the things I, I noticed about that show, Gilmore Girls, was, you know, the, the characters, they talk so fast. And it was funny. There's this there's this joke on Family Guy where, the, uh, where they go to one of their cutaways and it's Gilmore Girls and they're speaking so fast. And I was like, when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I thought the exact same thing. So whenever that happens, uh, I feel good about myself. It's something to relate to, right? And I'm pretty sure in the, the Family Guy cutaway, Lorelai and Rory start making out in the in the cutaway <laughs> if I remember correctly is this open now yes go to hell um what how did I not get hit there I must have evaded 106 monsters left. I mean, still no secrets. What the hell? What in the heck? It's like we're heading towards the yellow key. Got to keep your head not on a swivel. That's what they teach you in hockey. Keep your head on a swivel. This looks like a lift right here. Yeah, that is a lift. All right, well, I'm back up to 100 health. I don't know why this Hell Knight's not waking up. Oh, there's probably an invisible barrier. Yeah, okay. All right. I didn't know he put invisible barriers in his maps. What? Now what? I just heard some monsters teleport. Are there more? Indeed. Okay, so there's a revenant somewhere. And we got a yellow key, so I do remember where the yellow door is. I, I remember that there is a yellow door. Do I remember where the door is? Actually, it's down here. Someone just saw me. I'm 
I'm just gonna wait behind the door. Oh god, I gotta kill these assholes again. I'm just gonna wait behind the door and then snipe you as soon as you open it. That's what the chain gunner was saying to himself. Okay, let's just kill these assholes then. So they probably came up the stairs, yeah. No, they can't come up the stairs apparently. Okay, it's much easier to kill them from here though. At least in my opinion. Okay, double kill. 70 guys left, still zippity secrets. Looks like we're going into the outdoor grassy area. Looks like we have a new sky. This guy looks nice, by the way. Overcast. With some clouds. I guess that's what overcast is. <laughs> See an exit sign. All right, so there is a blue door, a blue key, I should say, somewhere. So we have a med kit, we have a box of shells, and we have a lift. Let's go down the lift. Sniper City over here. I'm getting really bad deja vu right now. Super strong deja vu. Obviously, I've already played this map before, but that was a long-ass time ago. So I should probably press this, right? Wasn't there a switch? Was there? Okay, maybe I was thinking of that switch. Okay, so I'm assuming that switch raises this. Maybe not. Okay, 44 guys left. I'm assuming it raises this. Now, does it do it? Do I have, is it repeatable? Yeah, that's what I thought. So it raises once. Is this a lift? Yeah, okay. So I have to press it twice and then use it as a lift to get up. All right. Understood. Still no goddamn secrets. What the hell? I don't know. Maybe they're all by the blue key. Maybe it's a cluster of secrets by the blue key. Okay. Is that just a key? Obviously, it's not just a key. I know better than that.
Look at this, this looks cool. Oh, that's your secret. I only got one. Okay, we've got a bunch of imps over there. There's like some monster closet revenants somewhere. Oh, I see another secret right here. Okay. And the third one, I don't know where it is. Fifteen guys left, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so that was one. Now I didn't actually pick up the red key. I'm assuming I need it. There's also that blue armor. Green armor, I should say. Where the heck am I going? God damn it. Okay. Officially picked it up. There's your revenants, by the way. It looks like they're outside. How many shots, man? Okay, eight guys left. Yeah, honestly, I don't know where the other secret is. I see two secrets, and there are apparently three. Okay, oh well. So we have to go back outside. What? I guess I'm saving. I mean, 25 health left. Now, is that just the exit? There's still a blue door. This really feels like the exit. Uh, what the hell? Why is there a blue door? Okay, now the blue key was a secret. A secret? I mean, I didn't really do anything. I just... I saw, like, the... The, the sky barrier, and I just walked up to it, and it just opened on its own. Is it, is it a weapon? Oh, it's just a monster? Okay. Oh. So this was a secret. How did I not notice that? How many times did I look in the editor? In the, uh, in the auto map. And I didn't notice that there were three secrets. Okay, there's installment number seven. So now we're on 81, 1681, right? And now we're on Kmetal underscore eight. The first, the first Revenant fight in, in the seventh one, that was, it was questionable. That was fishy.
Sounds like this has new music. Now, track-wise, we're on 31. All right, backpack already. One secret. Where the hell is it? This one looks bigger than the previous map. Is it, though? I'm not sure. Secret is way the hell up here. Okay, top right. By the way, this texture right here, I don't think that's actually a Doom 2 texture. I think it's only a floor. Uh, and it looks really good as a texture. I'm kind of shocked that they didn't use it as a texture. It's only used as a floor. There's probably some other ones that are... Well, I mean, there's obviously light textures, light floors that aren't used as textures. But I really like how this looks as a texture. Good stuff. I saw you. Oh, he saw me. Yeah, right. Oh my god. Yeah. Not buying it, Doom. So I have to restart? Is that the idea? Yeah, fuck off. Okay, assholes are dead. Now, let's trigger whatever's going to happen now. I swear there was another guy in there. I guess not. Saw you. Okay, making progress. There's your boxes of bullets. Wow. So I feel like usually he's pretty stingy with the bullets, but we got a bunch of bullets now. Okay, so we have a yellow door right here. And we have a nothing door or a switch? A switch. Where's the super shotgun at? There's a revenant somewhere. I'm fighting the Hell Knight with a single shotgun. Is it in here? It is not. So there's bars are open now. I tried to hide behind the wall, but I got stuck on it. Okay, still no super shotgun. What the heck? This is like the latest that we've um, in the latest that we've still been using the single shotgun in one of the the K metal wads. Uh, we definitely didn't miss it. It's got to be over here, right? Well, I mean, I'm not going to say that. We have to check. I don't want to just wander around like a moron. Yeah, so I don't see one right here. Is this seriously all the way over there? 
Huh. Seems like a long ways away. Okay. So if we go through here and then we turn right and then we go up here, is that the idea? It's actually down. I thought there were stairs that went up, but no, there's stairs that go down. Okay, so there's an asshole right there waiting for me. Oh my god. Let's just get the F out of here. So we have the super shotgun. I think that's fine. Got some uh, nice safe area right here. Is there a guy over here? Okay, there is. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Almost got hit. All right. Are there any more snipers? Maybe we can get some infighting going. Nice. Yeah, you guys fight amongst yourselves. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so let's go down now. Like the fatties are still standing. All three of them. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. <laughs> it's the comp blue texture. Sometimes people use this as a waterfall texture. I don't know if maybe, maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, I mean, if this was actually water instead of nukage, I would say, yeah, it's definitely a waterfall texture. Even has the the scrolling line def action on it. Okay, let's get this box of shells. We'll get the med kit. So what now? Uh, we have a couple different areas. We, why do I hear guys? Oh, they're right behind there. Okay. By the way, the secret's over here. So let's go get it. There's a power-up behind it, too. Hopefully it's not one of those useless power-ups like Invisibility Sphere. It's over here. It's just open? What? This also is another one of those floors uh, that's now a texture. So this isn't usually a Doom, a Doom 2 texture right here. It also looks good on a wall. And there's a light as well. So I wonder if he made all of them, uh, that those lights as well. All of these floors look really good on the on walls. This one as well. Okay, now yeah, who cares? Let's get it. I want to steal this guy's texture one. It looks so good. This one as well. <laughs> this room is full of floors as walls. Now, in something like a source port like uh, Zed Doom, you can actually use floors on the wall, and it'll play in game. You don't have to like add new textures to your wad or whatever. 
But in Pure Boom Plus and like Vanilla Doom, uh, you can't use wall textures. Uh, you can't use floor textures as wall textures and vice versa. So walls and floor, walls and floors are separate, separate entities. So like wall textures are called textures, floor textures are called flats, floor and ceiling textures. All right. So what do we do? We got, I don't even know if we did any, we got a, a secret by the way. We got the soul sphere. It's like we have to get a red key. Okay, that's not fair. I was I had 171 and then the guy shot me once. The last time he shot me, I had 171. He shot me once. And I went down to 129. That's not fair. That is not fair. try you assholes so I swear there was some armor yeah like I knew I saw some green out of the corner of my eye first time I went through there long ass way away We have a switch right here. Should we just empty out the room first? No rocket launcher? Okay. There's your key. Now there should be a box of shells somewhere, right? Looks like we got some teleporting monsters. There's a bunch of shells right here. Alright, we'll get those later after this. Wasted one box, whatever. 109 guys left still. There's, yeah, there's still guys over there on the right. I don't know how they come out. Oh, I probably have to do stuff over here first. And then we still have some more walls that open up later too. And then here's your three key doors and then there's your exit. With your rectangular orange exit switch right there. Guaranteed. God, what's with all the hit scanners? Is that a triple kill? With the single shotgun? Hmm. 
Not ideal. Is this a lift? Okay. <laughs> Jerk off. Okay, we also have a lift here. Who the fuck is shooting me? Okay, there's your blue key right there. Um, so I don't know if I have to go down there or not. Uh, let's not do that yet. Let's just go back down here. We'll try and go this way. All right, nothing there. Can't go there. There's a blue switch here. That requires a blue key. All right, I think we can kill these guys now. Yeah, he shot through the wall twice. I don't think so. Come on, I saw that there was a guy there. convention. Oh god. <laughs> Fatty convention and hell night convention. All right, let's go this way first. Nice. Rocket launcher acquired. Now we have some imps as well. <laughs> um, okay. Fuck. Yeah, this makes sense. I'll kill these guys I'm over here. All right, so what should I do here? I mean, obviously, yeah, there's guys up there too. Hopefully I don't get hit said, hopefully I don't get hit. I just feel like it's easier to get rid of these guys. If 
before I do the next fight. All right. Hopefully the fatties aren't going to the side of me. They're not going to start shooting me. Okay. Um, what was over here? There was nothing here. Am I crazy? Was there... Okay, well, I got a... I got a blue key. Right, of course. So this was just monsters. Alright, let's get some shotguns. Twenty eight guys left, so we made a dent in the monster count. We need one more med kit. There's one over there. And the blue key is just over there. So, did that just open this door? What? Okay, so all these... Right, right, okay. So all these doors are open now gonna be a bunch of monsters these guys are already out and about boot and a boot and then we have all the keys so we can go back to the start go to the exit okay for some reason these guys are starting to teleport now I'm not sure why and I'm not sure where they're coming from Okay, six guys left. All right, so I went the wrong way. Where was this so-called yellow door? Was it over here? Of course. Oh, God. Oh, God. A fucking arch file behind a bunch of barons? Okay, well, the arch file stuck behind the door. I think I just got lucky. So if I kill these guys, then theoretically I just have one arch file to kill. And I have to keep him in there so he doesn't come out. Three guys though. Oh shit. Multiple arch files. There is a monster there. I can see him. And what is he? I think it's a chain gunner. Yeah, I can see him holding his little his bullet clip or whatever. <laughs> Eat that asshole. 
Uh, hello. Okay, so I, I think I know what the problem is. Come on, man. Is this the one that I'm on? I think so. Yeah. So for some reason, the back side of the doors are also, they also have blind F actions on them. And, and what's happening is it's blocking my presses of this one. Because the player, uh, th this must be 32 units away, right? One, two, three, four. Four times four is 16. Is that seriously the only 16 units? Yeah, that would, that would make sense. So that's like half of the width of the player. Huh. So this teacher on Sabrina right now, I just saw this guy. He was uh, in my episode of Voyager. Uh, right now I'm watching Star Trek Voyager. I'm watching the episode Future's End, I believe is what it's called. And this guy plays Starling, the, the bad guy who stole the time ship, the 29th century time ship. And he just took, what, what did he just do? He prevented Voyager from transporting the ship away. Now, I, I did want to talk about this episode, actually, on the video series because it's it's a big turning point in the season, in the series, I should say, in the start in the Voyager series. Because I believe, if I'm correct, I only there there are two parts. I only finished one part one today. Tomorrow I'm doing part two. But I believe, and yeah, yeah. So. The the bad guy, Starling, he he stole the doctor, the emergency medical hologram doctor from Voyager. And then it basically just said to be continued. And but I believe this is this is when the the doctors, the hologram doctor, his mobile emitter is introduced. And that is a gigantic turning point in the series because you know he gets to keep it. Spoiler alert, they he keep, he gets to keep the mobile emitter and he gets to wear it around the ship and he goes on away missions and so he's not confined to sick bay or the holodeck anymore. And it really sort of lets his character shine because he's always confined to those areas and you always have to bring the story towards him if you want him to be a part of it. And now that he's got this mobile emitter, this mo mobile holographic emitter, emitter he can go wherever he wants. And so the series gets so much better after this episode because the doctor is one of the best characters in the series and they do some, uh, some really cool stuff with the doctor. And another turning point in the series is when seven of nine gets introduced. Now I don't know when she gets introduced. I don't know if it's at the end of the third season this season, or if it's at the end of the fourth season, I really hope it's at the end of the third season because if it's at the end of the fourth season, that means she's only only on the series for like three full seasons. That seems crazy because she's one of the best characters too. They do so many good stories with uh, with her, like her Borg implants and stuff, and and she's yeah she's an excellent character. So that's another turning point in the series. And so I'm at the first turning point right now, and I'm really happy about that. Hooray! And he actually looks older in this in Sabrina <laughs> than he does than he did in Voyager, uh, because Voyager this is season three, right? Voyager. Now Voyager started in ninety seven or ninety five. I don't remember. I think it was ninety seven. I I forget. Either way, Sabrina. I don't remember when that started either. Probably. Uh, I don't even know, but he does look older in this one. 
I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they were released around the same time. Maybe they're a couple of years apart, but yeah, the whole point of the thing that's that's not working in this Doom map. This is obviously a bug. Here's a player start. And so if I go, I don't even know how I, I was able to. Oh, you know how I was able to press this one is because I pressed it right on the middle and right on the middle. Like there's a gap between these two doors here. So you can't actually. So I'm pressing like in between the lines. I think that's what I did. Is that the only way I was able to do that or what? But I mean, so let's just say I'm facing this way. I'm trying to press this line here, but thi this line and this line are blocking my presses. Actually, now I'm over here. Now I'm over here trying to press this line. And this line is blocking my presses of this line. So I don't know what to do here. I'm not trying to press it. I'm going to have to go on the id games listing and see if people mention that because I don't know how would you how you would beat it. Clearly a bug. Now, if you were playing in Zed Doom, this would not happen. Let's just go to downloads it game it games database legacy. We will zoom in a slight bit. Go to search. We will zoom in a little bit more. We will go to K Metal. And then we'll search for the seventh one. Is that, no no no. The eighth one. Hmm. It's got four stars. Okay, no one mentioned it, probably because these people played it with Zed Doom. So they didn't uh, they didn't have to deal with this. Okay, one other thing I'm gonna try. We're going to uh, look on the speed demos archived. Doomed SDA. Doom speed demo archive. So I'm assuming some of the K-Metal wads got demoed. So we'll search for K-Metal. We will do that. Yeah, there's no seventh installment, so. Zed Doom, I don't even think Zed Doom was around yet. So the first source port I believe was boom and I think that came out in 1997 Zed Doom came out came around late 90s but I don't know when exactly it, it's probably out soonish if not by now I mean it's March 98 right but yeah I, I mean I can't beat it I can't get I can't open the store because the the line is blocking my presses so but the exit is literally right here should we just no clip through? <laughs> Obviously, that was a bug. I don't know why I didn't write on the it games late uh, data database. I didn't the it games listing. I don't know why I didn't mention that. I didn't write a comment, but I'm. I feel like I should have. All right, now we're doing vilebug.wad, doom bugs folder. Okay, vilebug, so this makes me think like it's a ghost, the ghost monster bug that the arch file does. So if a monster gets crushed and then an arch file resurrects the crushed monster, it turns into a ghost monster, meaning you can't actually shoot it it can attack you and it can actually walk through walls too. Uh, you can't shoot it, but the only way you can damage it is if is through splash damage from a rocket launcher or presumably splash damage from an arch file attack. But 
<laughs> That's if you're getting desperate. So let's go to the Doom Bugs folder. Okay, so it has an LMP file associated with it. So let's read what he says. Cyber Demon. South Park Doom 2? Was South Park around in 1998? I guess so, eh? I remember watching that when it... I don't know if it was when it first came out or it was when it was really, really, really... It was like late 90s and thinking it was really stupid. <laughs> South Park. I never used to like South Park until like a few... I don't know when I started liking it, but... I don't know if it was last year or the year before when I watched every single episode. I streamed it on one of the streaming sites. Very funny. But um, <laughs> I think I used to, I think I got into it through clips on YouTube or something. Like, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or something. One of the clips was, I may have also seen, oh yeah, so I also saw some episodes on TV that would show them late night, some reruns. And some of them were really funny, so I ended up watching the series. But yeah, I remember <laughs> either it was a, one of the clips or one of the episodes I saw was the um, World of Warcraft episode. <laughs> you know, when they get all... What are they trying to do? They're trying to gain a whole bunch of experience so that they can beat this this guy who keeps killing them so that they'll be able to just play the game because they're trying to play the game normally. And then this guy just keeps killing them and they they're, they can't enjoy it. So then they figure out that they can gain a whole bunch of XP, EXP or yeah, XP experience or whatever by doing like something, something easy. And they just do it over and over and over for a long time. And they'll gain experience. So they do that. And when they're doing that, you know, they're spending a lot of time playing the game. They're getting fat. They're getting acne. And I'm obviously the, the best scene in the whole show is when they're playing. Uh, Cartman has like a hot pocket addiction, addiction or something, and he, you know, he starts to get diarrhea, and he yells to his mom to come down. He's because he doesn't want to leave because they're playing, and then she holds like the the little potty or whatever under his ass, and she, he shits all over her. That is the funniest shit ever. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I was probably converted after watching that. <laughs> now, I don't... So there there was a, a season recently. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen the new season. I think the last time I watched it was last year. Uh, there's also going to be a new season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. So I don't... I think it's currently on. So when it's finished, I'm going to subscribe to whatever streaming service that is. I think it's Crave in Canada. And then I'll end up watching the latest South Park season and the latest Curb Your Enthusiasm season. So there's my life. Okay, let, let's see. Dis description. Okay, this watch showcases three of the bugs in Doom 2. Three? Yes, all three in one level. The Archfile bug where monsters become vulnerable. Yes, that sounds like the ghost monster. Both to you and to the block map. The voodoo bug, as I like to call it, the voodoo bug. What? Where you can walk around, oh, okay, so that's like a voodoo doll. If you kill a voodoo doll, sometimes you can just, like, kill yourself, but you're not actually dead. You can still walk around, but you can't press stuff. And the little-known revenant bug, reverent bug, whereas rocket goes in a continuous loop. Oh, okay. It's not really a bug, necessarily. I guess it is, but... You know, because the, the revenant missiles, they home in on you. And so if you angle it properly... You can set it up so that it just keeps circling you. Oh, like it basically orbits you, just like Halley's Comet every 75 years. All right, so let's see if we can do this. Wait a minute, what? Okay, let's try this. So we know what's going to happen. Backwise 32.
Oh, I should not have done that. I shouldn't have killed the barrels. Good. We need this. To kill the ghost monsters. Shit. So what you have to do, you know, because you can't shoot these guys, so you have to get them to go right near a wall. And shoot the wall so that the, uh, the splash damage hurts them. Okay. Nice. Double kill. Nice. Right, so let's save. Now, where's the arts file, by the way? Looks like he's right here. I need him to come down. I'm not going to, like, go up there. Nice. All right, now we have one bug left. But why are there eight monsters? Yeah, so here's the crusher. This is the crusher that killed the whatever monsters, the ghost monsters. Oh, maybe there's going to be another one. There's probably more arch files. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, like right here. Uh, we've already seen the arch file bug in multiple maps. So. Uh, by the way, what the hell does this do? Okie dokie. Got some fire blue action up there. Oh, shit. I guess I'm supposed to use my plasma gun. Nice. He didn't even get a chance to kill these assholes. Good. One guy left, so it must be the Revenant. Uh, the idea is to get... Yeah, is to get it to, get it to just go around you without you moving. I think I did it. Two of them. So I have two moons. Okay, so what about this uh, bug? I don't know what I should do here. Okay, so I think that's how you're supposed to exit. You're supposed to shoot the voodoo doll. Okay, well, we didn't do the the zombie player, but... Oh, well, so we did this. Good. Now we're doing SP Doom 2 dot wad. SP Doom 2, why the hell is it so big? By the same guy, by the way, Cyber Demon. Oh, South Park. <laughs> South Park Doom 2. Slight change to death sequence? What? I didn't see a, a, um, a dehacked file. Map number all, what? Is this a legitimate? 
megawatt or what? If it is, we're not playing it. Um, excuse me? No, this this is just a graphics wad. There are no maps in this. Come on. Yeah, it's all, all graphics. <laughs> okay, so we're not playing this, obviously. Okay, well, let's just take a peek. We'll see what it looks like. What the hell is this supposed to be? Oh, I guess that's <laughs> their little winter hats or whatever. Oh, there's Kenny. Chef. Uh, I don't know what that kid's name is. Is that Ike? That's Kyle's brother, right? Comedy Central. Now, I don't know what the hell that is. Who Who's this guy? I don't know that character. It is that like Mr. Sock or whatever the hell that I feel like that happened after 90 after the after 90. This was released in 98, wasn't it? A big mess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Poopy, is that is, is that what the character's name is? Anyway. Marked. We looked at it at least. Now we're doing insertion. I N S R. Why the hell is every wad so big? New graphics, new music. How many maps is it? One, two, parts of... Okay. Let's just load it in Doom Builder, see how many maps there are. Okay, 11. So we have to play it. Um, first of all, we have to we have to delete all the music. Because we're actually on track 1 now. So I'm assuming since there's title music, there's probably going to be map music. So let's delete all the music. So I don't have to change the music every every single map. So we will show the audio and we'll just delete it all. Okay, we'll save and quit. Once again, I didn't do make a copy. I should have made a copy. Well, of course, no. I forgot that, you know, whenever I load in Slate, it makes a backup automatically. So I don't have to do that. All right, track wise, we're on track one. So. We're already halfway there. So 35 monsters, two secrets. Um, this sort of looks familiar. I swear this is familiar. Like I swear, just looking at this room especially, this looks like the exit. Okay. Okay, shotgun.
Do I recognize it yet? I don't think so. It's red sky. I think I recognize this. It must have just reminded me of that other level. No idea what the name of that level is. Rising stairs. If you want to make a cool level, just... best way to make your level cooler is to add rising stairs. And yeah, there's a secret right here. A switch on the back side? No. So, what the heck, man? How do I get this secret? Do I have to press this or something? And no luck. So I don't see any lines that would do it. Thirteen, eh? So it does it over here. Okay, so I have to walk over this and then come back over here. And there's some sort of power up here. Computer map. Is shooting me. No, this is that room, and this is not the room that I thought it was. So there's one of the secrets. I don't know if I, if there's any help. However, so what did that even do? Here's your answer. All right, let's search for some health. Oh, obviously, um, there's a secret, too. So was there any health, like, back at the start? Seem like it, eh? It's 
We got four guys left. Okay, this probably teleports outside. Yeah. Nice. Got some health too. Perfect. We got shotgun. Another shotgun. Some clips. This is another teleporter. Where does this lead? This just leads back there. Okay. All right, there you go, David Shaw. I feel like I should know that name. I mean, it sounds familiar, but I don't know where it's from. David Shaw. Okay, we have six secrets. 91 guys. This map, on the other hand, I 100% have played this. <laughs> There's something here. And I never remember how to get this. So this light doesn't work. Do I press this? No. David Shaw, that's what it said, right? Okay, it looks like I have to teleport in there. I feel like I played this level a long time ago in the video series, but we, we have played it already. At least this start room, 100%. It was funny, I, today actually, I, what was, I went on Doom World and I saw a, a, a WAD review and I was like, I swear I played that. And so I looked at what folder it was in, on id games and yeah, it was a, it was a WAD from 1995, like mid 95, Doom 2, Doom 2 WAD. And so I obviously played it in the video series. So I, I went to my folder right here in my videos folder and it's got, I have all my YouTube descriptions here. And then in the thumbnails section right here, we have all of my YouTube thumbnails. And so I went through each one of these. And it has like the list of wads that I play. And I checked what the date was on the, on the wad. And it was, it was this one, slosh.wad. 713. So I had to click a whole bunch of these thumbnails to see which one Slosh appeared in, which episode. And it was episode 68. And so I go to my YouTube channel and I go to, it, um, it's also in episode 69, but I watched the beginning of me playing the wad in episode 68. And, and I'm watching me play it. And for the first like minute or so, I did not, re or maybe not that long, but for the first little while, I was watching myself play it, and I did not remember the wad at all. As I'm watching myself literally play the wad, I didn't remember playing it. And then we got to a spot where I'm like, oh, okay, this is that wad. But it took like a shockingly long amount of time. <laughs> now, this is quite a, quite a long time ago. Episode 68, right? So when did I record episode 68? On May the 23rd, 19 or 2023. So almost a year ago, almost 10 months ago. Crazy. 10 months ago, we were in the year 1995. Now this wad, this map, I should say, I don't know what the name was. 
and the name of the original map was. This is by Dave Shaw, right? David Shaw. So if I had searched his name on 8Games, we'd probably figure out which wad it's from. Now I thought, you know, when I looked at the auto map or the editor or whatever in map one, I thought that I recognized it, but I did not recognize that one, I don't think. So we can't go this way. Should we stick with doors or should we go through a lift? I think we stick with doors. Do I remember this part of the level? I honestly don't know. I think I do? Honestly, I don't know. So what did this one do? Did that. Where does that lead? Somewhere else. Okay, let's just go through here. This room looks very familiar. Yeah, I've been in this room for sure. So I must have played this already. I'm just thinking like maybe the first part of the level was added to like a different level. But no, I've 100% been in this in this level before. I think there's some guys here now. Yeah. It's hard to keep hard to keep track of all these wads. I mean, there's we've played over 2000 wads. Wads and a bunch of the wads have been multiple levels. So just imagine how many levels we've played in the video series. Having to keep track of all of them is just... I don't even know if it's possible. So I didn't miss a secret over here. And then there's also this. That lowered this. And that raises it. Okay. Oh, that just lets me go back. Okay. No secret in here. So I need a yellow key for that. I think I have to go back. Let's go down here. Should have picked up the med kit before I picked up the health potions. What can you do? Horrible efficiency. My shotgun skills there. Didn't have any double kills. Fuck you. Is 
So we have a yellow key. There's a bunch of guys up there, by the way. Now, if I shoot now, will they wake up? Not sure where else they're teleporting. Try the teleporter. A super shotgun up there. Some, some parts of this map I don't remember. Other parts I do. Very weird. Okay, there's a secret in this room. Obviously some rising stairs right here. supposed to fall down in there or what? Supercharged, nice. Hooray, I got a secret, finally. Now I press the switch, right? Did it open? Okay, it opened this. So I, have a, I know what happened now. This thing, it was like a computer panel. Now it's down or it's up, but it's open at least. However, there's still a, multiple secrets. But I still don't know how to pick up. So what about this one? This is one secret. This gets opened how? It's tag one. Oh, so I just pressed this switch. The switch up opens that. And then what about this secret? Oh, this is a teleporter secret. And this leads you over here. So how do you get in here? From there and there? Okay, well, how do you open this? 42. I don't see the line. Now, there's a line right here that triggers it. Is that the only one? No, there's another one. 
Okay, it's this one. Now, have I been in here? Oh, right. This is the room I've been in, but... I've not been up here yet, but there is a switch here, so... Okay, so let's try and do some other stuff then. Yes, we have we want to go through the teleporter right there. First of all, we want to get this secret over here. Get the computer map. Uh, shit. Don't even have a chain gun. This is my best weapon. I mean, it says exit, but how do I get in there? Oh, so it looks like we have a fake... Can, actually, can I go through here? No, so... Th these are like fake torches, I guess. And these must lower somehow, so let's... We're gonna have to teleport back up there. Does that exist? Oh, come on. What a tease. Oh, okay, well, I pressed that. Press that. Maybe that raised some stairs. How the hell do I got the goddamn super shotgun? From up there, I bet probably just fall down. I probably could have had that for a while. I didn't know there was a super shotgun there. Nice. Okay. What is officially started now? There's still a bunch of secrets left. Yes, we press that other switch, so if we go back to the start, we should be able to access one of the secrets and then teleport to another secret. Good. Okay, that was two secrets. Backpack. <laughs> All that for a med kit, uh, for a stim pack. Not a med kit, a stim pack. So where's the last secret? Oh, it's, no, we got that one. Honestly, don't know. I feel like I got everything. Yeah, at the very least, this is a shortcut into this room. Okay, so the bars are down now. David Shaw. Stephen Wilson, is that what it said? I think it did. Okay, let's save. secrets five okay we can go left or right let's go left as always she yeah, have right
Now this reminds me of another wad as well. That we've already played. I honestly don't know. guys over there. I should have killed those remnants first before I started pressing stuff. Fucking Jesus Christ, man. What? There's two of them here? Oh, there are two there as well. One of them died already, though. Good. So this part of the level doesn't not seem familiar. I don't think it's the one I'm thinking of. Probably just has a similar start. Nice uh, Hell Knight double kill. Okay, yellow key acquired. Let's go up some lifts. It's probably a secret in here, right? There's not. Unless that counts as a secret. Oh, there's no lift over there. There's no lift over there, but there's there are power-ups over here. Like there's that, but there's there's something up there. There's a power up there. I don't get it. Maybe I teleport there, probably. It's the only thing I can think of. What would, what is it anyways? I can't even see it. It does exist. I mean it's a it's a yellow triangle in the auto map. Okay, that's a secret. Now I knew there was a secret coming up, so that's probably why I noticed it. <laughs> why I planned on noticing it. Apparently, I already have a chainsaw. Nice, we got some more blue armor. And a soul sphere, too. So, whenever we get into this room, it's like we have access to a soul sphere. That's good. We have a yellow key. We have not uh, come to a yellow door yet, so let's go this way. Oh, Crusher. not open does not open no secret there yeah
rising stairs. Um, where the hell would he have gone? Not ideal. And yet I didn't get hit. Now I think one of them teleported. So there's a stray imp and a stray... Whatever that's called. Chain gunner. What? Two crushers? So where did these assholes teleport? I'm assuming they're over here. I think I, you know, stopped the crusher. I, I walked too far back, so the crusher stopped. I was, you know, hoping to, to crush them, but I accidentally stopped the crusher. God damn it, there's a secret over here. Is that different than over here? It is, okay. Sometimes it's hard to notice because, you know, people use, some, some of these mappers, they use a, a whole bunch of textures on the same wall. And so you don't know, oh, is this gonna be a secret or like for mappers who use like basically the same texture on a wall and then you see a different texture, like, oh, okay, that's a secret. But in this case, like, look, there's a green one, there's a brown one, and then there's a metal one. And there's a brown one, so maybe, I mean, how, maybe this is just another design choice, but apparently not. And I think, yeah, he is using secret lines, so. There's still that soul sphere, by the way. It looks like we gave ourselves access to a rock launcher and a super shotgun. We already have a super shotgun, but... Oh, God. I guess we can go through a key door now, right? I feel like we've done everything so far. Yep, we have. Okay, so let's go through the blue door. Fuck the shot. Uh oh. Got lucky with that hell knight. Hey, where's this revenant at?
so where's this uh, chain gun at? Where did he come from? Okay, I guess that explains it. Just some wandering chain gunner? Okay, if I go this way, it looks like it leads... Okay, didn't want to go that way. I'm gonna go this way, right? Yeah. This leads to one of those rooms. Okay, your rocket launcher. Not a not a crusher. It's kind of shocking. Berserk as well. And then there's also that soul sphere, which is somewhere. That's got to be a shootable switch. So what did that open? Okay. Assuming we need that. Okay, I guess that is if you want to get the, the, the rockets. That makes sense. Okay, so let's get the rad suit. After getting mauled by the demons. Good. There's one seeker left. I wonder if it's the soul sphere. All right, so where should we go now? I feel like we've done everything over there. So should we go down? Should we go left? We should do one of those because we still need a red key. Might as well go back here. There's your red key. Feel like we have to open up this or lower this or something. Okay, obviously we can't do anything over here yet. I guess we have to go over here. not to get hit. Doing a poor job of that. There you go. Yeah, there's still this right here. Okay, so I'm assuming this opens after I pick up the key, right? That makes sense. This, pro this as well, probably. This is already open, it looks like. So that guy's waiting for me. I'm not buying it. I am not buying what you're selling. He did it again. Shoots me immediately.
still the soul sphere. I don't know where it is. Where the hell is the soul sphere? Oh, it's over here. This is it right here. That that is not a secret. Um, is there a secret here? Yeah, there totally is. And I picked it up. And then there's a secret over here. Okay, so that's your last secret. There's literally nothing in here. So I don't understand what's going on with that. However, we pick up the red key. So let's go back up to the start. Go through the red door. I get some more water. Okay. Don't really want to waste a, a rocket on these guys. Seems like that's it. I see an exit sign. Seventeen and a half minutes in. There is your soul sphere. So let's save that till the very end. Assuming we can, we can. Assuming we're allowed to. Now I feel like the secret's right here. It is. Oh, looks like we have another switch right here. Ew. Looks like there's a demon down there. Another one over here. So we have all the secrets. There are four monsters left. Are they in the exit room? They are. Looks like they're demons. Taco demons. Fuck you. Now I have to find like a med kid. How did they not die? Double kill? Can I get a double kill? Nice. Okay, zero monsters. Now I just have to find a med kit. 
Yeah. There's got to be a med. There has to be a med kit in here, isn't there? There's not. There's a med kit somewhere. I know I've seen a med kit. Oh, for fuck's sake. I am shocked I didn't get crushed there. There's definitely one down here. I mean, there's a stim pack, but I swear. Yes. All right, now we can get that soul sphere. There's a med kit right here, you idiot. Okay, Stephen Watson, okay. Not Wilson. David Shaw. 75 monsters and seven secrets. Map four. Looks like we're going down. Did we miss some monsters, by the way? I mean, there are two monsters here. So maybe we, maybe we teleport back here later and then these are open to reveal monsters. That's the only thing I can think of. in there. Too good to be true. By the way, what the hell did that even do? idea. Oh, I see what it did. It lowered that over there. Or that right there. And the other one probably lowers the other one, right? Okay, so there's a secret here, by the way. And yet I can't open it. Switch, switch. More secrets that I can't pick up. idea what that did.
go to hell. Here you go, yellow key. I didn't think it was that easy. So there might be something right there. There is too. Take your time. So we'll get that first, then we'll get the secret. First we should go over here. Get our third chainsaw of the wad so far. So it's definitely possible to get this right, I think. Apparently I can open this, or it opens up somehow. secrets all right so let's go the other way we went one way so far we, got, we only got one secret over there so there must be more things to do over there okay so let's try this in the darkness. Another secret. Multiple switches, by the way? No, just one. What the hell should I do now? Alright, I got a yellow key. I could go through a yellow door. Multiple things to do over here. There's a blue key there as well. I mean, the map isn't that big. Okay, well, let's try and go through the yellow door. Maybe that'll give us some answers. Uh, 
Oh my god. Every goddamn mapper from the 90s uses specters in the darkness. It is so annoying. Now, that key I don't have, a red key. Okay, I think something's open over here. All right, let's try this again. did have an arrow, but it disappeared. <laughs> there was an arrow, though. So a Hell Knight teleported somewhere? Don't know where. Oh, God. So I need a blue key to activate that. So that Hell Knight basically teleported back to the start. Yeah, still not available. Take a little peek in the auto map. In the editor, I should say. So we're on map four, right? Okay, so this opens this. Alright, and that opens this. What? How did this opens this? But you need a blue key in order to press this. The blue key is over here. I feel like that doesn't make sense. Oh my god. Alright, so something else is open now. That's how you get over here, apparently. Guy way the hell down there. Let's 
So should I fall down or what? Um, what happens if I go over here? It's back over there. And if I go over here? Same deal. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to do here? I know the key is right there, but... Am I supposed to shoot? No. Oh, I see. There's a, a pedestal here. Oh, come on. Oh, it was always down? Whatever. All right. Blue key acquired. Now we need some health. Some shells, I should say. So there's a, a blue door over here that we can press. Blue switch, I should say. And that opens this. And this opens this. I know that much. And we, we'll get another secret. We'll be able to kill the pain elemental. Megasphere in the house. So we have one secret left. It's this one right here. I still don't know how to get that. And then there's a red door and there's another blue door over here. Bunch of monsters over there. So maybe I'll just... I'll leave the Megasphere for now. Get it at the very end. sure how that opened up but it did now we have access to the last secret good so where are we going now we want to go through the yellow door Okay, this looks like a, a battle if I've ever seen a battle. Hello? He's not even paying attention to me. 
Now, so the arch file is like there's a barrier around it. I got like 57 rockets, wow. So I'm assuming once I get the key, Archfile is gonna wake up. Eek. <laughs> Fuck off. One guy left, and he's probably behind the red door. Okay, the red door is up here. We're not gonna like go all the way in. I didn't know. I didn't. There was no reason for me to reload because I'm getting a megasphere. So what's the point? Let's see if I can remember where the megasphere is. It's it's in uh, right. I know where it is. I have how many times have I been over here? Hopefully we can do it under 20. Thirty seconds left. Okay, let's save. 250 monsters. Was this a David Shaw level? I can't remember. Nine secrets. Okay. There's some shells. God. Oh. How much longer can I do this video series? Did I just turn silent mode on? I did. That would have been bad. So let's do a little peek at my antennas. So there's a problem with three of the Toronto channels right now. It happened this morning. I can see it on my logs. Uh, it's not transmitting specific data. So, you know, if you go to scan the channels on your TV, it, they won't scan in. But if you've, if you've already scanned the channels in and you go to the channel, then it will play. But if you go to scan the channel in uh, new, it won't scan in. So... 
uh, because I can notice it has like a signal, signal strength and signal quality, but it has no call sign. And I tried it on my TV and yeah. So, but yeah, it started this morning, then they fixed it. It started overnight and then they fixed it this morning. And this evening it, it went back to being screwed up. So I don't know, maybe someone forgot to uh, restart their computer or whatever. There's probably not going to be anything going on tonight. Huh, I picked up uh, Rochester. Okay. Guess we got some high pressure coming in tonight. What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. So it's ten eleven. I think I started around seven thirty, right? I am really tired right now. 2.43. So we still have like 20 minutes to go. I mean, that's not that long. This is map 5. There are 11 maps, right? So we're not even halfway through this. Alright, let's try this. Down to 30, uh, 31 rockets, I think. Very nice. 36. Looks like we have some dual secrets. Excellent. I was gonna say there's something right here. How did I pick that? I mean, how did I trigger this? I'm not even sure. Nice uh, touch on the lighting there. You can see this shadow it goes through the lift there and into the wall. Nice continuity, I guess you can call it. Yeah, obviously something bad's gonna happen. Okay. Didn't get hit, not sure how. There's a texture misalignment right here. Oh, I think you just have to fall off this thing right here. That must be what happened in the previous one. So I'm up to what? Four secrets already? Okay, that's good. Mm. 
So what did I even do? I don't think I did anything. Unless, you know, this is also a lift right there. Indeed. And then this switch probably lowers the key, right? And maybe also the corner rooms. No. Maybe when you walk over the key, it'll the corner rooms will get released. Probably means there's going to be more guys over the, on the other side too, right? Obviously. Uh, they just disappeared? What? I mean, they're... Oh, I, I understand now. So there are these, like, triangle sectors over here. And I, I thought... I, don't, I didn't know what, why they were there, but they're there for a design purpose. So right here, on the wall there, there's a sector. And the ceiling is like... So the room I'm in right now, it's 128 units high. And so the ceiling of this sector is 64 units below the ceiling I'm in. And the floor sector right here is 64 units above the floor sector that I'm in. And so it creates a sector that's zero height. And you can use a different texture on the upper texture and the lower texture because the floor is up and the ceiling is down. So you can see both the ceiling and the floor, the upper and the lower textures for that sector so that's why it's like this because this texture does not exist in doom 2 this is two different textures so the green the green ones on the top the green and tech one and then the bottom one is the gray computer whatever circuitry all right so that explains that here's your red door so have i done everything i think i have There is something over here. I try pressing this. I don't understand. I cannot stop yawning. I guess the door closed. Thank you. 
Um, what the fuck is going on with this room? A lot of guys in here. I do not think I have a cell weapon, by the way. No. No cell weapon. So we have a blue armor right here. I do not need it at the moment. There's also something... Seems like there's something behind it. However, that might just be another control sector in order to control the brightness of the uh, the glowing. Because the sector's glowing, so... You need, like... So, for glowing sectors, the sector that glows, you have it, you have it at uh, the upper brightness limit. That So, whatever sector... What, whatever brightness amount that the sector has that is how bright it's going to get and then you need an adjacent sector and whatever the lowest adjacent brightness is is what controls the lower level of the of the glow amount and so that is this this it's sort of, it's not a flash because it's gradual the light level is gradual so that's what i'm assuming that is that extra sector on the on the side here i believe that's a control sector okay gotta press your computer consoles Definitely some bad stuff's about to happen. Another one? Oh no, okay. I thought there was another pain elemental. Just a bunch of lost souls. Honestly, I'd rather a pain elemental than all these lost souls. Picking up cells, do not have a cell weapon. Why not? Okay, this one actually was white. So something happens there, right? Yeah. Uh, what the hell did I just do? sure what to do here. Maybe I've got to fall again or... Yeah, I bet. Okay, well I tell a friend of... Fuck you. Yeah, right. Okay, I think I tell a one of the guys.
So what do we do anyway? We got a blue key. Blue key, and then there's a yellow door right there, so... Can I go this way? Because I haven't been this way yet. So maybe if I go up, I get the blue key. Maybe if I go down, I get the yellow key. Is that the idea? Looks, it looks like it's because I can see the yellow key right here. Okay, let's do a time check. All right, 2.57. Got about 10 minutes left. Can I make it? Can I make it for another 10 minutes? I think I can. It's a nice line of lights here. Picking up cells. So there is something right here. There's a cell pack too. So I mean there must be a cell weapon coming up, right? Otherwise this is just a gigantic tease. Looks like we have three doors. They all lead to the yellow key. More cells. I'm missing a cell weapon. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> okay, we have to look in the in the editor here. Where is this goddamn cell weapon? That I'm supposedly supposed to have. Okay, well, there's a cell weapon. The cell weapon. All right, so it seems like... It, I don't know if there's a plasma gun, but... I mean, a BFG is more than okay. All right, so yeah, let's do that. We'll do the same thing, and then apparently we can just press this. All right. You know what, I think I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go through all of these rooms and then I'm gonna do the, the BFG. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I have 90 health and then I see the stim pack so I go in the nukage to pick up the stim pack and I get damaged again and I leave with 90 health and less armor. That did not work out how I planned. Okay, so I can either go down here. Well, I guess I can do both, right? There's monsters in all three areas. Oh. 
can't go that way. Oh, that's probably how I probably have to come up that way. Uh, because the floor is lower. Fucking Jesus Christ. Okay. Grab a cell pack. I just want to see if there are guys down here. Can I open this? Yeah, let's kill these guys right now. Alright, so there are some things down here, by the way. Med kit. Probably a med kit as well. Okay. Don't need those. Alright, so let's do this. We'll go up the stairs and we'll go through. We, I guess we have to get this, right? What the hell is this? Honestly, who cares? Let's just get it. So there are three left, three cell packs. So I've got 300 up until 300 cells. And I've already gone below that. Oh, there's a couple cell pack or cell charges right there. Good. So we probably have to press that switch to, to get that, right? God, fuck. Okay, seven of nine. Just like the character we were talking about. Seven of Nine Secrets. Seven of Nine, tertiary adjunct of Unimatrix Zero. I think that's her full designation. So obviously we go through this teleporter. And we teleport up here, right? Looks like we have a bit of a slaughter fest. Now, am I going to end up teleporting right here? Probably. <laughs> and all these guys are going to be facing me. All right, so there's a power up right here. That might be another invulnerability, or maybe it's a megasphere. That'd be nice. Okay, let's try this. Yep. Oh, this is cool. So it goes one wall at wall, one wall at a time. darker too. Baddies. Evidence. 
There's no need for me to save. See anything. Where was this power up I was promised? Oh my god, it's the invisibility sphere. Go to hell. that <laughs> 34 guys left I mean we might as well just beat this map we're almost there anyway and it's 308 I didn't think we, we were going to be able to beat this by the time I wanted to stop but I managed to get my yawns under control. Um, like I wish I had a megasphere. Wasn't there a blue armor? Did I? I must have picked it up already. Yeah, I've already done whatever I had to do up here. So let's go back up. We have a blue door and a yellow door. Guys nice wandering. Okay, 13 guys left. Yeah, so I got all the secrets. Okay, good. Now, is this a death pit? I miss the switch. Must be getting late. should I do here? Four guys left, so there's two revenants and two reven um, chain gunners? I'll try my rockets. Okay, I guess that's as good as I can get it. There's your gigantic arrow. Exit. Oh, that was by Thomas Evans. Okay. 28 minutes. Wow. Another Thomas Evans level. Okay, let's save. 180 monsters. So we're going to do that tomorrow.
What the hell day is it tomorrow? Oh, Jesus. Tomorrow's Thursday? I'm supposed to get a bunch of snow on Friday. Probably going to have to plow it. I thought I, I was done for plowing for the rest of the year. Oh, well. All right, so let's go to this 1678. We are sub 1680. So let's double check. We will confirm in Notepad++. Insertion, we still have to finish that. Go down to the bottom. 1678, okay, so I'm gonna go on Wikipedia, see if anything interesting happened, and we will reconvene tomorrow until tomorrow.